Well, it's a sad day. Reason it is a sad day is because I'm looking at all my seedlings and they're not doing too happy. This is my tray of seedlings and I mean, this is just one of the trays. And you can just see they are really, really, really sad. I uh, unfortunately committed genocide. I did something that I should never do. And I'm encouraging you never to do. And I'm going to share those five lessons with you right now. The first one is when you're going to experiment... When you're going to do some testing, test it on a smaller scale. I got so excited that I saw some good results with some one of the fertilizers, my homemade fertilizers that I was using, and it was banana water. And so I started doing it on all of them. Then I got really excited in, about uh, another fertilizer I learned. And so then I went from one week I did banana water, the next week I did the, what I call scrap water. And then the following week I did a third one and that was alfalfa water. Needless to say, I should have done this on a much smaller scale because since I did test it, I basically killed everything and the only thing that's surviving really well right now is the simple thing I did in the very beginning last year. And let me show you. Look at this beauty. I kept it simple. I did a little trial thing. I planted some, some carrots here. I've got some spinach here. I've got peas here. You can see I've already topped. I've been eating the peas. So delicious. I've got lettuce. I've got some radishes in here. All of this right here. In this tiny, tiny little container. And I will take and plant this outside later. Probably in... Yeah, I might do it today. I might do it next week. But... And I'm just going to grab it in chunks. Now, I've never planted carrots this way. So that's going to be something new. But I'm still going to give it a try. I'm just going to grab a chunk. Just like I do all my lettuce. And I'm going to plant it just like this. I'm going to plant it all together. I want to see how well it will do. And uh, we'll, we'll give it a try. But you can see, I just went back to the basics. I went back to keeping it simple. I've only used some banana water in this and I've only used it once and you can see it's doing really well, really, really well. Then I started to experiment with my hibiscus. <laughs> uh, let's just say, I hope it's more forgiving once I plant it outside because I shouldn't have experimented with that. Yeah, I really, when you're going to work with plants or something like that, you should kind of learn about them. I've never grown hibiscus before, but I thought I'd give it a try. Well, I don't know how it's going to do. <laughs> so, long story short, there's five lessons I learned. One is don't experiment on a log scale, a large scale. Do it on small scale so that you can really test and see the results. Two, don't do so many experiments all at once because then you don't know what's working and what's not working. Three, you've got to have some patience. Patience with uh, not wanting things to grow faster than they're designed to grow. And that's where I was really wanting it to grow. I got excited. I started seeing things popping up. I'm like, ooh, let's see if we can get them faster. Well, <laughs> that didn't work. They did not grow faster. They just died. Fourth lesson is never, 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 
never use chicken manure, even on the smallest amounts if it hasn't been aged over time. What I was doing and what I did here is I use chicken manure after like cleaning off the eggs, so not a ton of it. And so like little, little you know, bits of junk that is on the eggs. And then I put it in the, the container and I watered with that. I honestly think that's my murderer. I think the chicken manure is what killed it. Because after I watered this group of seedlings, that's what I got. It died quick. And I thought I was, I thought I was going to have some really good success uh, because I, I diluted it so much. Well, chicken manure is known as what's called a hot. It's a hot fertilizer. It's a hot manure. It's one of those that has lots of nitrogen and it will burn your plants, just like you saw there. <laughs> but I thought that the ratio that I, there was only just this small amount of manure to this huge container of water, that it would be okay. Mm, well, you saw the effects of that. <laughs> don't, 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 never, 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 never do it. Okay, now that brings me to the fifth and kind of the one that's hardest to mention because it's dealing with arrogance. I wanted to be that guy for you. I wanted to be the one that helps you to have these thriving plants and that you're out talking to all your friends and saying, hey, you got to go check out this guy, get to the roots. Man, he, he's like awesome, man. Ever since I've been dealing with him, he's got these big plants and oh, it's just awesome. And so I wanted to be that guy for you to show you, oh, look what you can do with the seedlings and, you know, you'll make them bigger and better. And I'm, I'm experimenting for you so you don't have to. And da, 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 da. and so I, I wanted that, those accolades from you. Well, that got me in trouble because of my eagerness and really arrogance. And I admit it was what stopped me here. Had I slowed down, had I just gone with the basics, I would have a thriving seedlings like I did last year. Last year I had fantastic results. And it was simple. It was really, really simple. This year, you can see my results. So I'm going to, going to go back to the basics. I'm going to replant again, but I'm also gonna go, I have to go get some starts. I haven't bought starts in a while, so I'm gonna have to go to the store and buy some starts because we just do not have a long enough growing season here that I'll be able to start my, all my tomatoes and everything again. So I eat humble pie. I apologize that my arrogance got in the way and killed our experiments. <laughs> but I wanna thank you for following. Thank you for being willing to Allow me to be your mentor as I help you in this simple gardening. I am not, I, I did not teach this because it was, a, a, it was testing it. And I did not want you to kill your plants. And so now I know what not to do. And I will just go back to the basics and I will just have a side test going on. <laughs> but that's what I, I did. That's how I killed them this year. And I hope that you don't experience this. I hope your seeds and your seedlings and everything is just thriving and doing well. If you have any questions, let me know. I promise that I will only answer with proven principles and techniques and things that I've actually done over and over and over again, not experiments. So you're amazing, believe it. Oh, oh I almost forgot. One thing that a big lesson I learned here, and it really hit hard when I was doing it, is th this is a lot like life. It really is because sometimes we'll have major successes. Last year was a major success, tremendous, you know, seedlings, everything was a success. And then we might have some major, major failures. What you see. <laughs> but it's through those major failures that we make progression and i have truly failed this year but you know what the more we fail the sooner that we can actually meet 
failures twin success. And so I hope that you are having your own failures, maybe not to this extreme, but just little failures because I want you constantly striving and thriving to do better and wanting to improve your life in whatever ways you want. I want you to do better. I going to end on this. It was I watched an Elon Musk uh, interview yesterday, and he talks about the all the adversity he experienced as he was going through and trying to build Tesla, even to the point where the big manufacturers had even cohorted with you know banks and the SEC and all, all kinds of things to where they forced him to do something he did not want to do. And he said he had to lie. Well, he kept going. Even though there were some failures along the way, he kept going. He slept on the floor of the factory to show to his employees that I'm in here. I'm here with you. I, he says he knows every part of that co- manufacturing probably better than anybody else in the world. Those are his exact words. And it's because through the failure, he had to do that. And that's where I'm talking about with you. What are the failures you're experiencing right now? Don't stress about it. Move forward. Learn from them so you can keep going and become the amazing and wonderful person you are. You are amazing. Believe it and have a wonderful day.